Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the exercise that is called Pose of the Child. Now some of you might recommend, uh, recognize that from yoga. It's a very common yoga pose, Pose of the Child. I like the Pose of the Child exercise especially because it involves a little mild tractioning effect on your spine. Now let me show you what I mean by that. If we take the spine here and we lie it so that it's in the face down position on the belly, the pose of the child exercise will exert a mild tractioning effect such that the entire spine becomes lengthened, but mostly in the area of the lower back, it becomes lengthened. And that lengthening is good because it creates a little bit more space between each vertebral body so that the pressure is taken slightly off the discs. So the pose of the child involves a slight tractioning effect. Now it also involves a slight forward bending effect as well. Sometimes forward bending is contraindicated or not, not good for people who have back pain or leg pain. But in the pose of the child, that forward bending effect is pretty mild. So of all the exercises that have a little forward bending in it, I think it's probably the best. Let me demonstrate it for you now. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out on your hands and your knees in what's called the quadruped position. Your hands and your knees are not going to move at all during the exercise. The only thing that's going to move is your buttocks as you try to sit down on your heels. So you just keep the hands in that same spot and you slowly lower your buttocks down towards your heels. You'll start to feel a stretch in the front of the thighs in the quadricep region and also in the lower back. You hold it for about 30 seconds and then come back up. And you want to find the ideal position for your hands. I think I'm going to put my hands out a little farther to start out this time. And now I'm going to sit down again. And now I'm getting a little better stretch that time. So the the buttocks come straight down to the heels and the hands remain still. I hold it in that position and while I'm in that position, I'll be monitoring my symptoms. Now since this exercise is most often recommended by me for people with sciatica or leg pain, it's important to monitor the location and the intensity of your leg pain. So let's say, for example, you are having sciatica, okay, and your pain is in the thigh, the left posterior thigh, the back of the left thigh. When you do the pose of the child exercise, I want you to monitor where that pain is. You may notice that the pain is no longer in your thigh now. It might be in your buttocks or your lower back exclusively, and that would be a good thing. That's an improvement. Conversely, the pain could go further down into your thigh, into excuse me, into your lower leg or your calf, and that would not be a good thing. So, we need to have you monitor the location as well as the intensity of your pain. And I go over that concept of monitoring the location of your and the intensity of your pain much more in depth in several other videos. One is called centralization, and the other is called monitoring the symptoms in your body, monitoring the pain. So check those videos out, please. So again, one more time, pose of the child. Keep your hands in the same position. Don't move them. Keep the knees in the same position. Just drop your buttocks down towards your heels. Slowly hold it for 30 seconds. Monitor your symptoms and come back up. Now, if you're treating with me on a home care program or in the office, either one, I'll be providing you with specific instructions about how many reps you should do and how long you should hold each rep. Um, we also use this exercise in conjunction with others and really the best, the, the best treatment plan involves mixing and matching the pose of the child exercise with other exercises so we can get the best effect. Okay, so that's all I have to say about pose of the child today. Um, if you have any questions, please type your question below and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I see it. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. 
And if you like our channel, please subscribe to the channel. You can also take a look around on our channel, uh, The Clinical Neuroscientist, and you'll see that there's many other videos that uh, pertain to lower back, leg pain, neck pain, and arm pain. So thank you very, very much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.